Hello guys, it is time to learn Mastercam. So I create some circle on my origin. And when I go to analyze options, you can see that this is a 100 diameter circle. And it is located on origin, as you can see. And after that, I am gonna create my machine. So I choose the default option. So it means that I am gonna get a G code according to planet system so after that and if you want i can choose and counter by using that uh, button also you can choose like this and right click and new toolpad and counter so that is the select options and for master cam since uh, 2000 three or something like that okay and i selected chain and this is a crucial and you need to be careful uh, while you are choosing your chain and it must be clock side so i'm gonna click ok and tool options i'm gonna make right options and create new tool next and I create uh, 20 millimeters and me and I'm gonna fin click finish after that I am choose uh, 0 0.2 for feed rate and 200 cutting speed and as you can see the all the feed rate and spindle speed calculated according to that options so and i'm gonna click meeting options i'm gonna choose obsolete yeah it means according to origin and then you choose the absolute options the program don't care where is your counter and which that position is not important and when you use the incremental it means that and and the, all the um, all the values it means according to your chain so and i'm going to select absolute options most of the time so i'm going to select also options absolute options for that so uh, minus 20 it's okay for me after that and the cut parameters and the compensation type going to be complete by computer so the compensation direction and the must be right because of I choose my geometry and according to clockwise so that's why and I select right compensation compensation direction is if you want you can see your uh, chain select options again so let's turn the cut parameters again okay and in that case i'm gonna select ramp options and after that i'm gonna select that and my ramp that gonna be five millimeters and make a uh, pass at final depth and one way ramping for opening content is not important because of my uh my computer my counter is not open it is closed so i'm gonna show you these options these options quite important and i'm gonna show you why okay and the depth cut uh, is not available right now because i choose the contour type as a ramp so i choose the ramp motion depth and i entered five millimeters for uh, each ramp that okay okay guys if you want i can choose uh re-click that options and so after that i'm gonna click ok and as you can see i create some toolpad so linkedin parameter is not so good right now i don't like like this uh leading options most of the time i prefer like this and the 50 percent of my tool diameter and shift 
angel at 180 degrees. After that, I'm gonna select regenerate options. So I wanna show you an isometric perspective, as you can see, and I create like this toolpad. As you can see, my X, Y, and Z moving. So that is a good. But you need to be careful when you get the G code. Let's see. When I record my G code, as you can see, I am going to get huge g code line okay it takes the time a little bit and this is the edit uh, because of the editor okay let's see and three three hundred eighty two line g code okay that is good if you are using the new machine or nerves supply and also high CP options, something like that. But if you don't use like this machine, that is it is not good G code for you. You need to be careful of that. But in Mastercam and you can reselect that options. It is crucial, especially uh, circle line. Okay, I am gonna click G code options. Okay, let's see what happened. As you can see, it is easy way to get G code if you use old machine or uh, if you wanna get good surface by meaning circle. Okay, you can see that. That is enough uh, for create like this toolpath. So, as you can see, I also wanna and make the final pass at final depth. So it means that I'm gonna uh, get flat and at my last depth cut. So that is also crucial. I'm gonna make it 50. And also wanna get 10 millimeters for each cycle. Okay, let's watch it again. As you can see, there is one line for that. I'm gonna get it again. Okay, that's all. As you can see, that's enough. If you use the linearization options again, you're gonna huge and see block numbers and I think that is not good for all the machine but if you are using nerves uh, and the other CNC machine options may be good but uh, you not need to push your machine to get over all this difficult case if you can see that There is one tool pack. You can see 500 approximately NC code line. Okay, you can block, remove block numbers. Okay, that's all. Okay, there is another master cam tricks by using the contour options. Okay, be careful and 
Yeah, the general way I prefer to not select the linear duration ellipse. So default option is like this, but you can change that. Also, I'm gonna show you some another and options. Then you go to control definition and arc options. You can use that allow uh, the all circle degrees don't break arc, arcs and you also prefer the xz plane and yz uh, yz plane and it is also help you to get all that uh, g code like this okay that's all and uh, be careful uh, take care thank you ah okay sorry don't forget to like my video and uh, I'm sorry about my English. I, I try to improve that. So uh, don't hesitate to ask me any question about Mastercam or engineering or CAD CAM or CMM. Okay, thank you.